I thought I might start off with the flight sim because you actually brought up the flight sim. I think I did, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> I weird. <laughs> will take any opportunity I can to play a flight sim thing. I, I don't do as many videos of this as I could because I, I don't know. I'm like, oh, people aren't like, gonna like this. It's too right, nerdy. Yeah. But I love it. Well, I think but, someone actually asked for it recently, so... <laughs> and, and they have. It's come up quite a few times, um, which is the reason that I've been playing lately. And I thought it would be a good one to start because we could still talk. We could, You could talk more about the charity. I could try. And actually introduce people to I it. I can certainly try. <laughs> um, and and we, can, we can talk with the chat some more, and then we can do some trivia quizzes at mm -hmm. the same time as we're flying the plane. Trivia Which on is, very little sleep. That'll go awesomely yeah, well. <laughs> like I have, um, I have this one up here, for example. Oh boy. Uh, which is, you know, like name every country in Africa. Oh, and so, I know a lot of them, but oh my god, can I remember all of them? <laughs> yeah. So we can, we can, we can do that while we're, um, while oh, we're flying, because you know that'll that'll be easy. I'm both super excited about that mm -hmm. and absolutely terrified to do that on on camera in front of people. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going no, to no. mortify myself. Well, we're we're going to be just fine. Everything's okay. Uh, I should oh. probably bring up the procedures for this to make sure I don't screw up the start. I could have started with the plane on. Oh. Um, I suppose, but you know that that sounds that's for wimps, right? <laughs> Starting with the plane on. How much do I have to do to get the APU started? The drunk monk. I'm actually not drinking tea. Not yet. Maybe after a break or something. I planned on making tea, but I was in too much of a rush this morning. Yeah. There, I mean, there there will be tea at there some point. Tea. Clearly, I mean, that's going to have to happen. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's no choice there. There's tea in my heart right now. Just not real tea. <laughs> That's not where it goes. That's not where it goes. That's bad for you. All right. I think we can start the APU right away. Let's, let's just go and give it a try and see what happens. Mr. Washington spent two months and two trips over, over to Equatorial Guinea. Oh, cool. <laughs> Holy cow. Sorry, my eyes just like randomly okay. catching. Okay, a lot of you guys are big travelers, as and yeah. I mean, I know that people. That's why they like me. <laughs> yeah, I know that the people who watch are from all over the world. Yeah. But it's the people who are not just from all over the world, but have also traveled all over the world. That I don't know. I think it's also what contributes to what makes this community great is the fact that yeah. people are so interested in everything everywhere. In everything, yeah, yeah. Which is a big deal. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not. You know what I'm like. I can't not look at chat. It, it, I'm trying so hard to focus on the plane. No, I mean, this is not this is not the fun bit. This is just me trying to make sure I don't actually f up like setting up the plane in the first place, so that we can actually uh, we can actually take off and not die. Oh. Yeah, that'll be good. That'd probably be good. Yeah. So I did set up the plane with everything turned off, but I did go and set up on the runway already, okay. so that we don't have to like taxi around. And mostly it's because this airport's not really well developed um, here in X plane. Okay. Some, air, some airports have a lot of details put in. Mm -hmm. This one here. So we're taking off. Whoa, we've gone fuzzy. It happens. I think I've seen it happen once or twice. It's just been kind of random. There you go. I can I can set it to a fixed focus or something. <laughs> well, today we're going to be flying from um, Entembe International Airport in Uganda. I can't remember the name of the town. It's like Wasuka or something. Uh, it's something like it's that. probably the capital of Uganda, which I know. But I'm blanking on. <laughs> well, it's a town that's on the coast of Lake Victoria. This is Lake Victoria over here. Which is that the biggest lake in the world? Lake Victoria? Must be, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, we're we're gonna do real good on our geography quizzes today. I can tell. We're gonna be super good at this. I barely slept last night. I was up in the middle of the night, sick to my stomach. I think I was so nervous about the stream that I just like couldn't settle. <laughs> I haven't had tea. I have not had matcha. Oh man. I'm running around like a maniac this morning. I'm going on a very little sleep and I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is this is everything is fine. There's nothing to worry about. Everything um, is awesome. <laughs> if I bring up the sky vectors over here, we can actually talk about where we're going to fly. Um, oh, so much stress. I'm so nervous so, now. <laughs> yeah, we're flying from here, from Entembe, or Hewan Airport, which is in Wakiso, Wakiso. Okay, Uganda. Okay, that's not the capital. Wakiso. Okay. No, not the capital. No. But it's right on the shores of Lake Victoria over yes. here, and it's right on the border with it's Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be flying into Nairobi. Okay. Because just off of Nairobi over here is that, what's it called, the, the preserve? Oh, if you mean the one that the trust is in, I believe it's this way. Really? Savo East? Because Google Maps is east tells me that Nairobi. the... Nairobi. Oh, okay. There's others. I think Amboseli is here. Oh, all right. There's a whole bunch of national parks and wildlife reserves in Kenya. <laughs> Sheldrick. That one, yeah. If I bring it up on the Google Maps. Oh, that's smart. Because that's what I did. 
There's a star. Yeah, I start it and everything. You're very smart. Um, Did you guys know? He's very smart. Look to it. Zoom in. Let me bring it up on the screen for people to see. There's all kinds of stars. Now I'm confused. I, I start some airports and oh, stuff like okay. that. Oh, okay. Okay. See, so it was telling me that this is the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. Here. Huh. But that Maybe. might be one of their offices or something. Well, there's Nairobi National Park. Right. Uh, where's Savo? I'm so confused right now. Maybe Savo East is part of... I didn't think it was part of Nairobi National, but, you know, maybe on that map it is considered such. <laughs> Could be. Because maybe that's just the entrance to it or something. Or, but I thought it was I thought it was that way. <laughs> I, I don't know. Ooh, there's a draft center over here. Yeah. So we are going to be flying almost exactly on top of this as we come in and land at um, uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, or Jekia is the way it's listed. Uh, right, we're going to be yeah, landing yeah. here on this runway. Ridiculous. That, so we're going to be landing going kind of northeast, so we should fly directly over Nairobi National Park Very cool. along the way there. Okay. So that's the plan for today. Very cool. Or at least, you know, the first thing we're going to do while we answer some questions. Anyway, I'm, I'm burning fuel here with my APU, so let me go in through the rest of my... Roger W94 has been to Uganda. It's awesome. Ah, oh, excellent. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful country. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, we've seen enough pictures. I like this flight. I've done it as a test once, and it was like... Did it just die? Yeah, no, okay, no, thank quiet. you. Reg, I'm not losing my mind here. Savo East is to the east of Nairobi National Park. So I don't know what's up with that map. It li it's lying to you. <laughs> I think our APU died. Our what now? Did I pause the game or something weird like that? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart with the engines on. Okay. I may have left it running too long. It may have actually run out of gas, too. I may have not set that gas up properly. So let's let's just pretend. Just my presence is enough to make computers go nope. <laughs> yeah, 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 noped right out. <laughs> All right, there we go. It is fun to start the engines, but there we go. All right, uh, I've only been to Northern Europe. Well, I mean, Northern Europe's cool too. Yeah. Especially in the winter. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know about the especially part, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Everything's okay. So this, I'm playing, this is actually, so this is an X-Plane uh, 11, although this is not one of the built-in planes. This is uh, the Fly J-SIM um, 732 Twinjet, which is actually a 737-200 Boeing is the inspiration for this plane, but it's not officially a licensed project, product. And what I like about it, uh, so this is the one and only plane of Quill Airlines. Okay. Um, it was built in 1968. Um, it has no no computers or anything at all inside it. These days, most of these things run themselves like almost completely automatic. It's amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Flying. How did we lose our screen? There it is. <laughs> Flying is mostly um, a a challenge in like running a lot of equipment, especially these big things. It's about running a lot of these computers and and figuring that stuff out and keeping it organized. I guess the screen is blinking a lot. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna change to a game capture mode. That's gonna solve that. Because I was doing a monitor capture there, so you, I could show you guys things back and forth. But oh. surplus from Air Canada. Surplus from Air Canada. <laughs> yeah. Let me. There we are. Okay. Now we're gonna be in game capture mode. It should be a lot more, a lot more better instead of you know mostly black screen stuff. More better is yeah. is more better. So we're going to be flying Slant Alpha, uh, okay. which which means we're going to be listening to radios and, and tuning into that as opposed to using GPS and automatic things. Because, like, okay. these modern planes, like, know exactly where they are, where they're supposed to go. They can right. change yeah. altitude for you along the way, do all these course corrections. They even auto-tune your radios, do all kinds of things. Okay. We're not going to do any of that. It's just going to be, like, again, straight out of 1968. You can tell that the plane is older because one of the things we can do is we can turn off the no smoking sign. In fact, it right, starts off. Right, right. <laughs> also, this is my favorite part of the whole game. I love it. I love those sounds. Because when you're on a plane, you hear those sounds. I can call the attendant. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I, they did pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite part! Because you're sitting down on the plane, and you can hear this stuff. Hopefully the sounds are coming through okay for you guys. I'll, uh, I'll bring it up a little bit in uh, on the stream. But yeah, you can like, oh, the ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, this has 102 seats. We can actually bring up our um, our weight and balance. We can, fit, we can have 102 passengers. And right now we are, we've only got 60. Let's go ahead with a full passenger load because when then, you know, if we crash, we'll really make the news. 
Oh, good. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, I'll balance out our cargo a little bit. There we go, something like that. And fuel-wise, we are we are actually overweight. Okay. How? There's two of us. Well, no, there's 102 <laughs> people and a whole bunch of cargo. Oh, we're taking, like, the whole full plane. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our max zero fuel weight was, was going to be over with all the cargo and everything like that. Okay. So we ha I think we had a couple of elephants in the cargo, and we, we, we told them to get out and walk instead. Oh, that's nice. Well, in case we crash, you don't want to kill any elephants. Well, th that's true. I mean, come on. That is, that is true. Exactly. Exactly. We have to be, we have blink, to be very, <laughs> very careful not to kill off the elephants. <laughs> uh, so we have enough fuel here for about double our trip, which means we've got the extra contingency and everything like that. So I feel very secure about that. Oh, so, okay. so that's okay. Um, the APU actually is off. We're all starting. I think we can go. I'm just going to tune some radios. So we'll have to bring up a, you have a green halo around you. Oh, probably from the green screen and stuff like that. It's okay. And we're halfway to our goal. Oh my god! Already? Oh my that's goodness. amazing! <laughs> At 12.15. Oh my god, that's wow. so good! Oh, I love you guys. So <laughs> good. That's right, Cry for Sucker. Elephants are people too. Yes, they are. They're bigger people. They are. They're very mm -hmm. big people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, no offense to, to any elephants, you know, we're not, we're not judging. We're not going to body shame the elephants, but they're large. I'd rather not body shame anybody. <laughs> Extra fuel weight for safety. That's environmentally unfriendly. Yeah, I had that thought too. <laughs> well, the thing is, you need, you can't go with just the minimum fuel because unlike I a know, car, I if you know. run out of fuel, you can't just pull over to the side of the road. I know. Yeah. So you need to have enough for like a go around or to go to an alternate airport and things like that. I We're know. not flying with official ETOPS or anything like that. But, <laughs> um, but you know, yeah. So we have a little bit to spare just in case something goes tragically wrong. Not that it will. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to be mm -hmm. a okay. Um. So we're leaving this on a... What's, what's this angle here? How come it doesn't tell me? Why, why for is it missing a number? <laughs> I know you're not asking me about numbers. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I'll bring up some charts. We're good. Um, ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump. Oh, if I do this, you can't see the chat. Well, I mean, I could bring it up over here, I suppose. Oh, no, that's terribly tragic and unacceptable. <laughs> it's terribly tragic and unacceptable. So this is fine if you're flying with the computer. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, none of that means anything to me. So if you'd be relying on me to relay any of that info, you'd be doomed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. We'd have better luck with me taking delayed uh... advice from the chat. <laughs> Listening to Twitch chat? Yeah, that's always the recipe for, for success. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. 110, 120, 130, 143. Okay. Yuria-chan, happy birthday. They turned 30 themselves yesterday. Who's that? Oh, Yuria-chan. Hey, nice. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, how do we get the, the glare shield? There it is. <laughs> and by the way, yes, thank you. I have been seeing the birthday wishes in chat. Thank you all. <laughs> I'm not getting to respond to them quick enough. <laughs> Quill has no faith in us. No, Quill has just learned exactly how much faith to have in you. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. yeah. You guys are fine. I have no doubt. You guys are totally okay. How come these are engaged? That's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buzz, buzz, buzz. That's fine. Are we going to Africa? We're actually starting in Africa. We're starting in Uganda and we're going to K Kenya. Yep. Can you land an actual plane in an emergency? They're asking you. <laughs> it might not be comfortable. <laughs> the problem, here's the funny thing. The hardest part about, about flying a plane is, I mean, the landing's pretty hard. The hardest part is finding your goddamn way in the sky. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's where all the systems are involved. No markers that you can recognize as, oh, that's where we are. Yeah. yeah. Now, and what's, what's funny is that, in a sense, that the modern airliners can actually sort of land themselves in, in a very real way. But yeah, I probably could. There's a good chance the plane wouldn't fly again but without some serious repairs. In an emergency. In an emergency, I could fake it. There'd be a lot of injuries, I have no doubt. But I could probably get it down without killing more than 10% of the people. Oh, well, good. You know, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we've got uh, we've got that. Uh, we're gonna be our initial altitude's actually gonna be six thousand. If we 
we're going to do this correct. Um, actually, I should probably just sit. No, no, that's fine. Do, do, do. Okay, so altitude hold is off. We are on manual there. Nothing there. That's going to be good. We are going to be doing heading select as we take off, but for now we're okay. So we are going to... Oh, this actually isn't the right course. I do actually need to set the heading here to 143. So we're going to take off. We're going to go up to 4,700 feet. Then we're going to turn left on a 147 heading. After we have done that, we are going to be intersecting the... Oh, i got to be on... There we go. That's the problem. The 106 radial out of Entembe. And we're going to be following that skyway until it's time to pull off to do our approach into... Um, Jakia International Airport. Cool, cool. All right. He's good at sound like, sounding like he knows what he's talking about, isn't he? Yeah, but there's a reason I've never done Pilot Edge. There's, so there's this actual simulation you can sign up for where you actually get on, like, voice chat for the radios. And as you tune the radios, it, it's got a plug-in. It automatically puts you into different, like, voice chat channels and TeamSpeak or whatever. Oh. So you're actually you're talking to other people who are playing, like, the tower controllers, the dispatchers, oh, the wow. ground... Um, the departure radios, arrival radios, and so they're vectoring you around, oh and it's gosh. all like official speak. Like you can tune in and listen in. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh my god, this sounds like a real airport. This is so freaky and intimidating. Yeah, I've be, never done it. That'd be super cool and super scary. <laughs> but you can have real life air traffic control, and other people that are using it, their planes will show up in your sim. It's not wow, real multiplayer cool. exactly, but it's pretty goddamn close to that. Hey, um, Briarstone X Fighter 11 after this? I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> X Fighter 11? I don't know. What are we doing? Flaps 5? What do you think? Um, it's a pretty long runway. I mean, we're, we're not that heavy. I think Flaps 5 is going to be okay. Flaps 2 is going to be okay. Sure. Okay. All right. So our rotate speed is going to be 136. That's going to be fine. We're going to be looking to climb at about 160-ish, um, which I guess this bug is set... Uh, presumably to something relatively accurate for that. We'll just be about 20 to 25 above V2 for the initial climb out. Again, we're going to climb to 4,700 feet, which is not very much. We're actually quite high altitude here at 3,700 feet. And where we're landing um, in uh, Nairobi is, uh, I think, 5,000 feet above sea level. I guess I should check that, actually, because that's kind of important. Mostly all I can tell you off the top of my head is that Lamu and Mombasa are on the coast. <clears throat> that, that sounds pretty good. 5,300 feet. So, like, that's crazy. The air must be so thin there. I mean, that's really high up. They're, like, living on top of a freaking mountain. Well, they're not, but... I don't know. Seems pretty high. It'll be interesting for the landing. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to fly at 28,000. I think that's going to be fine. All right, let's go. Are we ready? Oh, let's turn on the seatbelt sign. No, Oh, we already put it on. That's good. <laughs> Seatbelt sign is, is turned on. Uh, we'll tell the flight attendants to get into their, their special chairs. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, uh, jump seats. The jump seats. Flight attendants to jump seats. Uh, let's make sure... I remember the whole thing. I'm sure One when we thing. set this up, this is going. The Gasper fans are on. You, this switch here, you know what this switch controls? You know when you're the sitting... Ghosts. <laughs> Gasper the friendly ghost. <laughs> You're always sitting in an airplane, and you got uh, above you, you got those little vents that you can open and close. Oh, yeah, yeah. That controls whether that is blowing air or not. Oh. That's how detailed this, this is. Wow. Whether the air conditioning's on or not. That's pretty cool. Uh, the cabin pressurization, the temperature. I mean, this is one of your flights. We could put a little warmer, because you're chilly on airplane, uh, airplanes, right? Yeah, I usually am. I mean, you're chilly all the time. Yeah, I usually am. So, <laughs> there's no weather. We're going to not mess with the barometer or anything like that. All right, let's, let's just go. Okay, that shouldn't, that's not right. What? The donation system refuses payment if there's special characters in the address? Like? Like what kind of special characters? I mean, it shouldn't. It, it does literally say it can accept donations from all over the world. I double checked. <laughs> I'm not, that's weird. Is there special, yeah, that's very odd. Mm. The bomb disposal game. Oh, uh, uh, keep calm and oh. do nobody panic and, what's that called? I don't uh, remember. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Keep Sorry. talking and nobody explodes. That one, yes, yes. Yes. There we go. All right, we're at about 90. Not enough. More thrust. There you go, about 98% and one. Moving forward, emergency brake is turned off. Flaps are good. The, uh, the trim was set. All right. Gonna take off. Wait, who's the pilot? I'm the pilot. So That's we're 80 knots. Doomed. 
We'll let we'll let Essential fly next. Oh, goody. Well, we can put you in a Cessna or something. I don't know when we arrive. I love the rattling. Oh, that's good stuff. I didn't set the uh, the auto air brake. Oh well, the speed brakes. And rotate. Come on. There we go. Positive rate. Lift the gear. I actually didn't rotate enough. It should be more like this. I'm speeding up too fast. Not pulling up enough. Okay. Fly runaway heading. And coming up on 4700. So we're going to turn left. And we can actually engage you to complete the turn. Excellent. And that's our warning. We're a thousand feet away. We're going to park ourselves at 6,000 feet and wait for the tower to confirm that we are good. I'm going to reduce to climb thrust, which is about 90% N1. And actually, we'll probably have to pull back a little bit more, not to overspeed as we come in on 6,000. There we go. <laughs> Danush took a screenshot of one of the buttons. Yes, I know. The pilot button is crooked. It <laughs> is. He's like, something's wrong with your plane. <laughs> I think that's accurate, though. Really? I it's I, I think so. Oh, that's weird. Whoops, we're, we're climbing. <laughs> uh, right, paying attention to flying. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's no good. <laughs> um, we can retract our flaps. I can't see crap out that window. Is that accurate? Yeah, you can see sky. That's where you're flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're above where we're supposed to be, but let's pretend that we uh, we got permission from the uh, from the departure to climb to our cruise altitude, because that let's seems. Let's pretend. Yeah, yeah, let's let's pretend. So I'm going to pitch up at this point. We are going to go on to doing too many things simultaneously. I'm going to ask for. Oh, the autopilot got disengaged somewhere because I hit the wrong button. All right, so that's on. We're going to... Not that button. Not that button. See, this is why I need a, a co-pilot in real life. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I mean, <laughs> to, to be able to hit these buttons, like, this would be a go up for them. Right, right. Yeah. Have I goofed everything up? Yes, I have. I'm coming way down, and we're going to crash and die. It's fine. Everything's fine. People keep asking about the view. Guys, we can see the sky. That's what you see when you're flying in the sky. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure in real life it's a little bit better because you get like more of a around. I don't know if it's actually through. It's probably not 360, 180 maybe view. But yeah, so you get to see all that kind of all at once. It looks a lot better when you go out here. Peripheral vision and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that doesn't seem like the safest way to do it though. That's fine. Everything's okay. We're we're on autopilot here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. No, we're good. All right. So I think I, I'm done trying to do too many things at once. We've now climbed to 10,000 feet, which means we can do two things. First of all, we can turn off all our lights, some of which have never been turned on. It's okay. <laughs> we don't need lights, it's fine. Where we're going, we don't need lights. Well, I mean, it's broad daylight, that helps. It, it does, but some of them are like the, the blinking lights. Oh, yeah, boop, boop, yeah those, boop, are, boop, boop. those can be important. Yeah, so that, you know, other planes don't smack into you. Unoriginal, no, uh, Gerda 1. Tell Quill I could maybe set him up to try a full flight simulator. What? Fancy. What? <laughs> like, you, he was asking earlier about, like, full motion flight simulator and stuff like yeah, that when you get into it. That would be, be awesome. Really cool, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'd like it, but it'd be really cool. <laughs> um, now, is there any chance have we completely overshot our nav? We totally have. I've been... So now we're, what, in huh? the Indian Ocean? What? <laughs> My heading is just wrong from where I was supposed to be doing. That's okay. We're that fine. thing actually helps you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that chart. Yeah, yeah, no, it's actually super helpful. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> it's actually super duper helpful. Um, and yeah, I was supposed to turn uh, turn east at, at to ninety six heading. Oh, so we're still in Uganda. Uh, yeah, we're right now we're over Lake Victoria. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna turn or left is I'm turning a little left, basically heading east, yeah. and I'm gonna try to intersect this uh, one o seven uh, radial coming out of Entebbe Airport that we're leaving out. Explain that in just a mo. He's all fancy. <laughs> so stream money raises a little behind. We're over three thousand. What? Oh wow. Yeah, my uh, the on-stream thing should update itself once a minute. 
is the way that it should oh, work. Oh, so if a lot came in all of a sudden, we then... We are indeed over 3,000. We'll read the, uh, the donation names and messages in a moment. Okay, we've just crossed 18,000, which means we uh, can... We would change our barometer to 2992, but we're not... We, it's already set there, which is fine. Uh, we could probably uh, turn off the seatbelt lights now. Oh, right. Because they're free to walk around the cabin. Yes. Yes. I had a moment of, why would you turn off the seatbelt light? But in that way, yes. Yeah. Okay. Although, the <laughs> captain will say, mm, ladies and gentlemen, we've turned off the seatbelt light. Yes. But we do recommend that uh, when you are seated, you keep your seatbelts fastened at all times for safety, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> so, what's happening here? Will there be any food report? Uh, there's plenty of liquor. It's whiskey and chocolate, and that's all oh, that's being there offered. there you go. There that's you go. That's all that's being offered. It's not that long of a flight. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it's actually half the time of the flight was just spent probably on the ground just yeah, now. Yeah, probably. Trying to muck around and get everything set up. So what's happening here, and I'm going to bring up the, um, the desktop capture again. So over here, out of this, uh, this airport, there's a radio tower here. And this radio tower... It's set up in a special way that your airplane can tell what its angle from the radio tower is. And what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to be traveling at 106 like degrees, like 90 degrees is east, so just slightly southeast. Right, yeah. Um, on this 106 radial coming out of here. So what we ha are doing right now is we're doing this bit, where we're flying this way. At some point, we'll smack into that radial. Okay. And so what we are doing with... With this, is this line here represents that radial. So at some point, we're going to smack into that, and this is going to move into the middle as we approach it. And then we're going to fly wow. along it. So these things change. Like, these are not, like, set sort of like on a car dashboard where little tickies go around a set image. Like, that that line will actually move. Yeah. Uh, we have a problem. Fancy. <laughs> I'm just busy trying to understand how the plane dashboard works and he's like, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, our, our oil in our generators is too hot. Oh, that's bad. So what you're telling me is we're starting out our charity live stream by polluting Lake Victoria? Well, we're probably going to catch on fire and die. Oh. Well. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I'm like, why? Why is there a little um, electrical warning light here? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only yellow indicator on, right? <laughs> well, that was a great start to the day. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's yeah. fine. Nothing to worry about. Totally okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Now, 33 nautical miles away from the airport that we started out. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna switch this over to var lock mode because what'll happen is when we do hit that line, the autopilot will automatically engage to follow that, which is going to be good. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, order two, two sets of parachutes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we are coming in at 28,000, so we're now going to altitude hold mode. So I told the autopilot to try to keep a constant speed. And I had my throttle set quite high. So the only way to keep a constant speed is to pitch up. Because as it's going uphill, it's going slower. Okay. So that was to keep that the 250 speed that I kind of wanted. And it was climbing. So I could add more power and we'd climb faster. Because the plane would automatically pitch up more right. to try to keep that speed. But now we've hit our level flight of 28,000. Okay. So now we're flying level. So i got to pull back on the throttle a bit to try to make sure that we don't overspeed. Although we can go faster than this. That's going to be fine. Shouldn't you afford uh, inform the tower that you have a problem? It's fine. It's only it's a plane from 1968. It's not expected to run uh, totally fine. Um, you know, it's it's okay. Is, do we see any smoke outside? No, 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 no. There's no smoke. Well, there's no smoke. There's no fire. Exactly. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there was smoke. Uh, th 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 I'm sure that's not. That's just a contrail. It's fine. Yep. It's not. Shut up. Everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put the parachutes on the elephants. <laughs> Everyone flap your arms! Oh <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I just remembered the r original reason that I brought up this game was because the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, one of the things that they do is they have planes and helicopters and they actually have like aerial oh, surveillance right. teams yes. looking for injured animals that might need veterinary assistance. Mm. Orphaned elephants or rhinos or other oh, wildlife so do that, that as our mission. rescued. And I was thinking, we can pretend that we're, you know, flying over 
Kenya's national parks and, and you know looking for baby elephants that need rescuing or something like that. But I'm really happy that there's no baby elephants on this plane right now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, everything's fine. Uh-huh. Everything's totally, <laughs> totally okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Mm. So maybe we should read some donations. Quick, before the plane blows up. <laughs> Can you push the button that makes the wings flap? <laughs> oh, Alright, um, I'm going to scroll to okay, see all donations. i got to scroll... To the oldest. Show me the oldest Are you, one. Like, logged in and stuff? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to make sure because if you're not, it'll just show like anonymous and stuff. I mean, uh, I guess some people might want to stay anonymous, but. Mm. Okay, the activity feed doesn't actually have the donation. Oh, here we go. Donations. I was gonna say somewhere it must. No. I mean, the other page does. Yeah, maybe just go to that one, I guess. Because here it's got messages. Yeah. The problem is if I click see all donations, mm -hmm. it brings me to like our internal dashboard. Where I have to click to see the messages, which I guess is fine. That's a little weird. I thought I did it differently last time. Okay, that's yeah, a little strange. Yeah, they tried to make it all fancy. Huh. That's the problem. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We got our first donation was from Kana. Actually, I'm gonna slide this over here so we can see the chat at the same time. Now, that's you fine. guys will have. To, I'm not. I can't see the game anymore. Right. Yeah. You guys, let me know if the plane is on fire. Um. <clears throat> or you know. Thinking in Lake Victoria. Yeah, or any of those things. Yeah. Uh, our, speed, our speed's okay, right? Mount Kenya. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Every, everything's fine. Oh, we're about we're about to intersect the radial here, and the plane will automatically make a right turn to follow it. Excellent. Okay. So we're the fine. <laughs> first donation was from Kana. Possibly first money raised said zero, and I had to fix that. Aww. Happy birthday, Essentia. <laughs> Greetings from Ottawa. Yay. The nation's capital. Oh, thank you very much. We promise. We promise. We will have a fan meet one there there one day. <laughs> we keep saying that. Yeah, I know. We haven't been to Ottawa in a while, and it's actually a damn shame. we got family there. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. crazy. Uh, we got $100 from Muli Puhuja. Yeah. <laughs> with no message, but thank you very thank much. You. Maybe, uh, we've got a donation in from Ollie Semia. I'm so happy you're reading them. <laughs> who says, for the elephants. The elephants. We can't see. Yeah, the elephants. I love that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got distracted by someone saying we can't see now. Can't see now. What? Oh, are, are they only seeing that? Oh yeah, they're only seeing the <laughs> dashboard. That might be a little boring. That might make it How's harder that? to tell if things are on fire. But the the plane is uh, is steering itself. So it's fine. Yeah. See, you guys don't have to see anything. Uh, Otto is driving. Otto man. Alice Dorn is moderating. Don't worry, you're not modless, and I'm nearby. <laughs> uh, Schutzby donated. Wow, whopping hundred and fifty dollars here. Happy birthday from Germany, Essentia. Love you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome, and so is your birthday wish. I still have warm, fuzzy feelings in my tummy bits when I think back at Copenhagen in that overcrowded pub where I met you guys in person. I don't get to all the streams anymore because I'm now a mod myself on Stijos, and my studies demand more time lately. But I will that's stay fair. forever loyal. Well, thank Aww. you very much, Schutzby. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. That's so and that, that, oh my god, that Denmark fan meet was uh, the craziest. It was epic. Holy cow. It was absolutely epic. <laughs> uh, we packed like 200 people into this pub. For hours. It was it was wild. <laughs> Tyler, thank you very much. Rose Salon. Uh, don't let Gandhi get the elephants or they'll end up as Varu. <laughs> uh, Yuko Finn came in with a big donation. No message, but a big supporter of the channel. Thank you so much, Yuko yeah. Finn. And Hakun. Hakun, thank you too. And Hakun, thank you for all your work. It's not here today because he's working, but he has been helping me as much as he possibly can with finalizing all the stuff for the charity and setting up stuff and writing up blurbs of info for you guys and all kinds of things. So <laughs> he was already helping. <laughs> already helping. That's amazing. Um, NKZ brought. Thank you very much. NK says, "Great B day wish. Happy birthday from Switzerland." Ooh, we don't get a lot of people from Switzerland. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a smaller country, so, like, statistically. Right, yeah, I guess. The distribution's yeah, not going to be the we same. We definitely don't see too many. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really thank cool. you. <laughs> Assure, thank you as well for your donation. Ren42969 says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Thank you. Thank you, Ren. <laughs> we got our first donation from Anonymous. We like Anonymouses almost as much as elephants. Elef Oliphants. Oliphants and Anonymouses. I can't talk Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, we got a big hundred dollars from Extrenion. Well, thank you very much, Extrenion. Didn't leave a message, but really appreciate that. Pre-revenue. 
says, uh, save the whales. Yes. Wait, I mean the elephants. No, do them too. What is a charity for again? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if Ascension picked it, it's oh. good. It's doing something good. That is very true. Okay, it's way too early for me to start crying, but I literally have had tears in my eyes this entire time, and that might send me over oh, the edge. It's probably not the last one like that either. You guys have so much faith in me, and I, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm Gold. gonna do ugly crying before, <laughs> like, what, 12.30? Go for today, make Ascension cry, but not too much. <laughs> Tobias, thank you very much for your $40 donation. Really appreciate it. Uh, Morty Von Doom says, Happy <laughs> birthday, <a> Ascension. <laughs> <clears throat> Want to do like uh, some Rick and Morty stuff now, though I don't think that's what that's what's going on there. Yeah, but thank I, you very I much. I don't know. It's like that plus plus like Victor Von Doom, and I'm getting all models oh, like confused. Oh, yeah. Victor Von Doom. <laughs> we got $100 from Big Swaff. Or Big Swaff? I don't know. I, big swaff. I, I read it as Big's Wolf in my head. Yeah, so I, I know. don't know. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say Big Wolf, and we're like, no, that, <laughs> no there's like seven letters that are wrong. Yeah. It's only a nine-letter <laughs> word. Uh, sent in a hundred dollars to say, first time on Twitch after tons of YouTube. Aww. I support supported elephant sanctuaries while living in Thailand last year. Oh, that's amazing. So great cause. Oh, thank you very much, awesome. Big Swaff. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, David sent in fifty dollars and said, Happy birthday, Essentia. Best mod ever. No, it's but true. Thank you. <laughs> it's true. And Elder Jim is here. Oh, of course. Happy yeah. birthday, Essentia. I'd love to help a worthy cause. Thank well, thank you, you very much, Elder Jim. <laughs> He's been here for a long time. Yeah. So Tadrius sends in $25 and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. No one actually saw it land, which raised the interesting philosophical point. When millions of tons of angry elephants come spinning through the sky, but there's no one to hear it, does it, <laughs> philosophically speaking, make a noise? Is this a comment on my flying? I don't know what's happening, but it's it, it's amusing me. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, is the plane still going okay? Are we still fine? Oh. We, we haven't died or anything yet, right? <laughs> no, we're good. We're still on this rail. Although, um, we are probably going to lose this signal here. So let me just prep a heading temporarily. Um, and I'm going to just tune into the next radio. It's going to be exactly the same heading, um, but uh, a different radio in case we lose this one. It's going to be 113.1. Travis Bickle saying, I'm confused. The objective is $5,000 to make Essentia cry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which one? <laughs> All right. We're still good here. So uh, how's our speed? We are over speed. Technically, our maximum recommended mock is 0.74, and we're climbing slightly. So I'm just throttling back just barely. Just barely. I wish this plane had auto throttle, but it doesn't. Oh, and I... It's off the screen now, and I, I missed the name. I think it started with a D. Somebody was saying it was my very first live stream. So, anybody new today? Welcome, and thank you for being here. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be an awesome special live stream. It's gonna be a little different, but yes, like this is ten not times a more awesome. Usual cool stream. But Ro is saying her first ever Twitch stream was an essential birthday stream three years ago, wow. and she hasn't gone away since. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Ro. So happy we kept a Ro. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next donation comes in from a Big Robo. Hey, Robo. Uh, Robo says, Hi, Quill Essentia. I'm busy this weekend, so I might miss the stream. Aww. So have a great one for me and save some elephants for me. Yay. Woo! <laughs> I feel like we're doing, like, awesome games done quickly, except this is awesome games done really slowly. Yeah. But it's like, save yeah. the animals. Yeah. Awesome games done as distractedly as possible. Yeah, exactly. I'm a cat, right? So I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ploon sends in a donation and says, Go, go, elephants! Yay! <laughs> Daniel says, I fully support donating to this worthy cause of saving the elephants. You might consider saving the donkeys next year, or people might think there's a hidden political agenda. Wow. 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 He went there. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Aisha sends in $50 and says, Happy birthday, Mazel awesome. Tov. Glad you. to donate to this worthy cause. Well, thank you very much, Aisha. I'm, that probably isn't the way you say it. I don't could know, be, yeah. Could be like an Isaiah or something. It, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. I tried my best. If you're in the stream, tell us how to say your name. <laughs> Alias Mia sends in $30 and says, Elephants! Elephants! <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Elfin Bridge, some great streamer, Aww. sent in a donation for $10 to say, Happy Birthday, Essentia, from the Tooth and Tail crew. Elf Bridge, Oz, Spotted Leaf, Ember, Sanzo, Fafnir, Mac, Kickball, and hashtag... Dvergy? Hashtag Dvergy? The, the Dvergy is silent, so oh. hashtag. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. 
Joe Loto, who's been around for a real long time, sends in a $25 donation. Thank you very much, Joe Loto. And that actually brought us to the 25% of our goal. So thanks very much, Joe Loto. Mm, yeah, 25% of our goal hit then. Wow. Then we had Colin coming in with $10. Oh! This is Roe, right? Yeah. Roe comes in with $250! Oh my god, Roe. <laughs> Holy cow! It's currently holding the top spot in all this. No message, but thank you so much, Roe. Um, you are always the pie of our epsilon. I don't know what he said, but I expect you will appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not the pie, the Tau, because two pie. That. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? Sends in fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Hello. Aww. Hello, is this thing on? Anonymous sends in twenty-five. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Willingy, Willingy. That's what I would have said. I don't know. Willingy <laughs> sends in twenty-five and says, "Get hyped." Woohoo! A Tyrandus. I don't have a great name. Sends in twenty-five and says, "Congratulations, Essentia, and happy birthday." Thank you. <laughs> Klingzor9 sends in $50 donation. Thank you very much. Marbin comes in with $250 as well. Marbin Dracon and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Thank you so much, Marvin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man, these big donations. I always say, you know, no. like these big donations. Everyone always, some people say, Oh, you don't donate enough or this or that. Well, it's, yeah, it's no. the big donations are there to be there for the people who can't okay. donate exactly. or can't donate as much. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for that. That is really huge. My gosh. Supernova, another long, long time viewer here, sends in a hundred dollars. Thank you very much, Supernova. Uh, Rhyme Pendragon comes in with ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, Essentia." Oh God, I get overwhelmed. I start to just be like, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Plane still okay, still good. Speed is crawling up. We're now at Mach point eight, which we really shouldn't be at. So let's go and throttle down, just. A scooch. Santos24, this is my first cool stream that I managed to catch more than five minutes before it ends. Aww! Damn! Yay! <laughs> and Alistair was also saying that one of my birthday streams was one of his first. And, you know, now he's been angled into the moderating team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we do. We just, like, <laughs> grab people and say, you're doing this now. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some more donations coming in. We got Last Revenant, who sent in $50. Thank you very much, Last Revenant. M19 Pickles. I want to say Mr. Pickles, and honestly... Mr. Pickles. <laughs> Mr. Pickles. Sends in $50 and says, Happy birthday. Thanks for all the work you do in the background for the streams. Thank you. <laughs> Terja. Oh, big support of the channel. Sends in $50 as well. Thank you very much, Terja. Gerdo. Gerdo, who's been oh, active in the chat pretty actively here today, yeah. sends in 25 and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Thank you very much, Gerdo. We got $15 from Aiden JS. Thank you, Aiden. Milan hey. sends in $13 <laughs> and says happy birthday. Ranulf sends in $25. I feel like I need to start going boo, boo. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just sitting here overwhelmed already. <laughs> Uh, Daniel Dansku, frequent uh, viewer, sends in $10 and says, Thanks for all the good times and the great content. Also, money for animals. <laughs> Dram Rabbit sent in 25 for the cute Dumbos. <laughs> Orcus sends in 20 and says, Happy birthday. Alucard sends in 25 and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Katie sends in $50 and says, Because elephants are awesomes and poachers are wankers. I concur. <laughs> sure, I believe the, uh, the the David Sheldrick Foundation, they have like 50 rangers, I think, in their anti-poaching group. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they they work with, uh, with uh, military patrols and different things like that Part to try to track down services, yeah. uh, poachers. Because apparently, apparently, one elephant gets killed every 15 minutes by poachers. About that, yeah. Which is an unbelievable rate. Like, yeah. Every it's 15 kind of minutes? Yeah. My god, that, that is really, really incredible. Well, there's something, they're estimating that there's about 400,000 elephant, uh, African elephants um, still living, which only counts as, it counts them as vulnerable, not endangered. But because they're killed so, so quickly and so often, there's so many of them being killed every year, they're expecting them to be extinct in the next 10, 15 years. Like, it, it's wow. just, I hear that. Every time I hear that fact, I, my mind just goes, what? <laughs> like, how do you go from not endangered yet to extinct in, like, a decade? <laughs> I just, uh -huh. Anyway, went off there. Sorry, but, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. And someone, 
I don't, I missed it, but someone said something about, don't forget the rhinos. David Childrick Wildlife Trust also helps rhinos. They also help zebras, giraffes. Something like jaguars, too, I remember oh, they, or something like that. They pretty much will take in, if there is an animal that they find that needs them to take it into their, their sanctuary and actually actively take care of it, as opposed to give giving it me, uh, medical treatment kind of in the field, because they do that, too, um, they, they'll take in anything. They will find room. <laughs> they just, they don't always have the room, but they will find the room. So. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I just realized I've been I've been looking at the uh, the DME two indicator to let me know when I was in range of the next station, and I realized I'd never set our second nav over here. Oh, so um, yeah. So where are we going now? No, no, we're good. <laughs> okay. um, we just we did finally lose the uh, the track over the station we we're leaving from. Okay. And now we're tuned into the next one. So like, we came from the airport over here, which is just off the map now. Oh, okay. And we're going to this airport, and we're trying to follow this bluish line basically. Okay. Um, and the radio from the airport we left at, we're now out of range, so we weren't able to use that to let us know if we were on the blue line or not. Oh. Um, but now we can tune into this one, and then we're just we're just just doing a little leg here because we we're off that for a while. There was a little bit of drift because there's always going to be. But we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be fine, and we're gonna keep heading to the airport. Although we're basically halfway through our trip now, so we gotta read the rest of the donations yeah. quick because I gotta start thinking just about our descent. Stop sidetracking things. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> Invisible Puma sends in fifty dollars and says happy birthday. We have fifty dollars from Clex or Culex, perhaps. I don't know how to say it, but it's cute. <laughs> but Culex also brought us to the fifty percent of oh our goal my marker. Gosh. Woo! Which happened before we started the stream today. I can't believe that you guys do that. Like, every time now. <laughs> every time. You guys are really, really, really incredible. Oh, gosh. Uh, Delian sends in $25 and says, Happy birthday. We got $10 from Renault. We got $250 from We Have a Dave. Which is a great name. <laughs> we Have a Dave, thank you so much. Oh, jeez. That is crazy the size of these donations yeah, coming in. I can't believe it. A great cause. I'm so happy you guys are supporting it. You guys are fantastic. Um, we have a Dave says, Happy birthday, Essentia, and howdy, Quill. I've been enjoying your channel since SimCity. Uh, a lot of people join then. Yeah, I okay. especially enjoy Essentia's birthday streams. Such a great way to use your birthday witch. Stay shiny, you lovely people. Aww, shiny. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have a Dave. Uh, we got $100 from The Swamp 4, I'm going to assume. The IV at the end. The oh, Swamp 4, maybe? maybe yeah. The, or The yeah. Swamp Iv. Or the Swamp IV? I don't know. Could be. A hundred dollars from the Swamp, anyway, and says, I can't not donate for elephants. Awesome. Happy birthday, Essentia. <laughs> Thank you very much, Swampy. Uh, we got a hundred dollars from Alistorn. Oh, like he doesn't already do enough for us. I was busy working like crazy in chat. The only mod we have at the moment, because Rhino can't be here till a little bit later. Oh, my god. The only mod. People are reacting to something. I hope everything's okay. Oh. <laughs> I think that someone was just saying, damn, the mods are too fast in answering questions. Oh. The mods... They're super Alistorn fast. Alistorn is being too good. <laughs> He's really good at this game. Really good at this game. Chris Alicia sent in $50. <laughs> That's good a great name. name too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Essentia. Go elephants. Uh, Justin sent in 30. Thank you very much, Justin. And Reg Cooper came in for $200 oh and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Thank you so, oh so gosh, much, Reg. Guys. <laughs> I'm going to do another refresh of this just in case any more came in right, while I was yeah. reading it, and then we're going to go and focus on and the game. And they did. <laughs> and yes, of course, oh, a ton came in. Did. Stolen Veil! Oh, hey, no. Veil! <laughs> $50 from Veil. Love you, Essentia. Happy birthday. So happy with the charity you picked this oh, year. Oh, thank you, Veil. And lots of little hearts <laughs> thrown in there. She's they, one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah, IRL. Well, internet into IRL. Yes. Into, it's we a long story. met her 20 years ago online. But. Yeah. How <laughs> crazy. What? Was there the internet 20 years ago? Did there it go, was, did it go, boop, beep, boop, boop. It may have done that. Dong, it may have dong. done that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dark Beholder sent in $100 and says, Happy B-Day, Essentia. Let's hope we double the goal and beat the last yes. charity stream, too. Yes. Well, That'll be the next thing. We'll have to come up with, like, stretch goals or something like that. Well, we'll have to go over some of the, the you know, amounts that this this organization spends on these incredible things that they do. That's maybe, right. You know, encourage people a bit. <laughs> what the money does. Basically, uh, uh, maintaining one baby elephant yeah. is $1,000 a month. a month. And not including any extra emergency medical care it might need. Yeah. It's just to basically feed it and take care of it normally. And these elephants need to be, like, hand-fed, bottle-fed, like, milk, uh, well, a, a milk thing that they've developed <laughs> that works right. for elephants. Like a formula. Yeah, a formula. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. For between three to five years before they're weaned off of it. Yeah. And you can even be 
started on the integration back out mm -hmm. in the wild. <laughs> but they do get integrated back into the wild, which is the important yes, part, which do. is really incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so we got uh, we got another fifty dollars in from Terja. But you just I know. Aww. He says, "Oh, saw another baby elephant video. So another tip. I want one. Yeah, I know, I know right?" right? <laughs> Oh, and I've been saying I want a house hippo for like years and years oh, and years, God. right? And the Wildlife Trust just recently started posting out all these pictures. They've taken in a baby hippo. Oh, and God. it's the cutest thing. They really are. They really are. I, I realize that when they're grown up, they're like super territorial and deadly. But baby hippos are oh, the cutest they're things. They're so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> An open world Aww. addict sent in ten dollars and says, "Happy birthday, Essentia! Watching your stream from the hosting on my channel. Thank you. Great to see you having a good time and given to a cause you're passionate about. Have a great day." Thank you. Uh, Dissonant sent in twenty five dollars. Oh. Says, "Hello from Dubai. Awesome. First time making the live stream. Happy birthday, Essentia! Go go elephants!" Welcome and thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, Jeppe or Yeppe? I don't know. Sent in We're $10 really bad at this. <laughs> and says, Happy birthday, Essentia. Just a warning based on the CK2 stream Quill might be planning something with a devil baby or saving elephants. One, one of those. <laughs> one yeah. of them. Really, and sent in $10 and said, Thank you really, really much for being who you are. Even though uh, you don't show up that much other than a chat, it's more than enough to inspire me and probably a lot of people too with your kindness and the purity of your heart. You make me want to be a better person and try to be a better person. Just wanted to say thank you for everything. And you are. I'm shaking. Big Franks sent in $25 and says happy birthday. Did you hear they're bringing Wooly Mammoth back? I have heard something about mm -hmm. that, yes. I'm, I'm sort of keeping one ear out on that or eye out on that. <laughs> Christoph sent in $50 and says happy birthday, Essentia. Best wishes from Poland. Uh, very cool. We got $25 from Sharky Chan. Who says, aloha and happy birthday, Essentia. <laughs> Always glad to support animal rescue and rehab. As a marine biologist, I know just how hard it is to get funding for all the supplies and logistics needed to carry out the work in the field and behind the scenes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you for getting it, you know. We had $10 from Nulani. Yay. <laughs> happy birthday, Essentia. Uh, Gratuler Madagen. We're going to have to Google Translate that one. <laughs> nope, nope, no, I said it perfectly. It's fine. No, but I don't know what it means. Uh, you don't? No. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, then I'll have to quill translate that one. <laughs> um, thanks for always supporting such a great cause for your birthday. Thank Aww. you very much, Milani. <laughs> Thank you. And we got $30 in from Farrick, who says elephants are the best. They are pretty up there. <laughs> They're kind of awesome. They're kind of incredible. They really are. <laughs> All right. I need to... Oh, I can't stop crying now. <laughs> I need to get this working now so that I don't crash and burn. So okay. we're going to do some more... T we got over five... How are we over 5,000? I don't know, but there was a big long message in chat, so I want to find it and see what it says. Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay, we're going we're gonna to come back to reading those in a second. I'm just going to try not to kill us all first. That, that, that's good, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> what, we're here to play games? What? <laughs> oh, shit. I was supposed to start my, my turn already because I'm past knack it. I'm supposed to start my turn and my descent. So, a few things. We are going to flip back over into... Okay, we're going to turn off the altitude hold. We're going to go into indicated airspeed mode. I'm going to throttle back way far. Guys, i got to tell you, we're probably about to die. Well, not about to. <laughs> um, it's very unlikely I'll make this landing at this point correctly because we got to lose a lot of altitude. So, by going into indicated airspeed mode... Um, there we go, indicated airspeed mode. Um, I am getting the airplane to try to hold a speed of 250 knots. Um, by killing the power, the only way it's going to be able to hold that speed is by nosing down, which means we will begin our descent here. And it's going to be a pretty aggressive descent, I think. Uh, okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to turn... Um, I need to turn towards, uh, towards <laughs> GV at this point. Yes, and Dong. SC is saying, the plane is on fire, the donations are on fire, the chat is on fire, and Essentia is crying. It's just that time of year. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, 115.9 <laughs> is what we're going to be doing, but we're actually going to be switching to a hitting hold now. I'm supposed to go down here at, like, a 116. Um, I'm going to go a little further south than that at, say, I don't know, 131. Sure, that seems fine. Go into heading select mode. So we're going to turn slightly more south. Okay, excuse me for a moment. I'm actually crying. Aww. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to flick this over. So the problem now is, so we have to fly towards this other station at this point. Um, the call sign for it is GV. And the problem is that it actually doesn't have DME information, which is a little bit odd. Um, 
So we're turning towards it. We're supposed to come in on, uh, I guess, the reciprocal of a 116. Do I have it in my thing here? So we're, are we not heading to, toward Kenyatta? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> in theory, we are. <laughs> uh, so we're supposed to be coming in on 115 radio, which I guess I can still do, actually. But the problem is we've, we've certainly... Okay, there we go. By heading slightly more south, we're going to find ourselves in a better position to intercept that, which is going to be great. So, um... Ba -da 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 -da. Uh, Vorlock mode. There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's we're going to be trying fine. to figure out how to actually make this work, and I'm just sitting here going, why did I bother to well, make a clock for the stream? To... I should know better. <laughs> I went back to altitude hold, because I didn't switch this properly. Go down to 10,000! Go down to 10,000. Ah, yes. Good. Excellent. So now you're actually pitching down. Okay, good. Do that. That's weird. So even with the altitude hold, hold button turned off, it still locks onto the altitude when you hit it. Like, it reverted back to alt hold, and I don't know, that might be a bug. That seems like a bug to me. Stay in IAS. Okay. Are we coming over Nairobi? Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought I saw buildings. <laughs> yes, that probably. Now, Nairobi's not super well modeled here. Uh, in theory, Nairobi is directly out that way. That's where our airport is. That's where right. Nairobi is. Yeah. Somewhere over there. Okay. I do like the diversity of landscape here. I yeah. mean, we just flew over Lake Victoria. We've got plenty of, like, greenery and farmland over there. We've got some drier space over there. There's some mountain over there that's probably a something. That, I can't that's tell That's straight north. Might be In Kenya. Kenya. I mean, there is a Mount Kenya. That might be Mount Kenya. I don't remember well, where They were right really now. creative with that name. I know, right? <laughs> Well, it's funny because doing my flight videos, I was uh, I was showing some people some screenshots of some of the like lakes that I was flying over with like flying around here. Uh -huh. We got Wavy Lake, Round Lake, White Water Lake. Like we're so bad at just naming things. Super it's imaginative. Like, what do we call this lake? <laughs> Let's just call it Round Lake. There's like 150 lakes <laughs> in this city alone. So call it Water Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. W wet Lake. <laughs> All right. So one of the big questions is what is our actual speed here? Um, do we not have a true airspeed indicator somewhere? Oh, that's really interesting, Long Tom Jr. That's oh, cool. Do do? What, what, what was it? Oh, he's telling me about um, big cat um, sanctuaries, I guess, in South Africa, and how they um, they like trade cubs to keep the genetics, like prevent inbreeding and oh keep yeah, the genetics strong in the rebreeding process. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stewardess speaking. It's called the flight attendant now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we regret any inconvenience the sudden cabin movement might have caused. This is due to periodic ear pockets we encountered. <laughs> There's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> now, what's really annoying, now I can open up the map and see. This is, this is where we're flying over. And when I fly over this, I want to be at 10,000 feet above sea level. Um, and at this point, I would love to calculate my distance here because I know how fast I'm flying. Well, mostly. I don't actually know my, my true airspeed because this plane actually doesn't have a thing for that. This is indicated. Anyway, it's completely different. Pain in the ass. <laughs> um, there's a way to calculate it, but I don't have it. So that'll tell me, if I knew how fast I was going, I would know how long it would take me. <laughs> if I knew how fast I was going. Which I don't. I don't know how fast I'm going. It, I, I would know how long it would be before I run over this thing. Okay. And that would tell me, so how many minutes I've got, and then I know I've got to right. lose 13,000 feet. Right. Right yeah. now I'm losing about 1,000 feet and change per minute. And we have no idea how fast we're going. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea. So in right now I'm going to say it's going to take me about 11-ish minutes to reach the altitude I'm supposed to be. Okay. The question is, I don't know if it's going to take me 11-ish minutes to get here. Oh. It might, not, it might not be, but I don't know. Can you kind of do like a little go around it and come back kind of thing. Yeah, but it's super bad form. But that is why I brought some extra fuel, too. <laughs> we can always hit the speed brakes. I mean, if we went if we went southeast, we could, we could see the elephants and then come back to Kenyatta. <laughs> That's true. Uh, what we're definitely going to do, though, is we're definitely going to put on the fasten seatbelt sign. <laughs> that Fa probably should have been on before when we thought we might blow up in flames, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't have mattered if we blew up in flames. Yeah, no, seatbelts aren't going to help with the fire that we're going to have. Well, you can just vertical dive to 10k and then level off. I'm sure the passengers love roller coasters. Be fine. I I'm also sure my wings would stay on. Yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. Nothing going wrong here at all. <laughs> uh, we are 37 nautical miles away from the airport itself, which is nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to have to do is tune to the ILS for this, which, actually, if I do this, I can remind myself a little bit more. Um, this one here. 110.3. Selecto is asking if the master caution light is on. 
Um, everything's fine. <laughs> that might be a yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, there was the electrical issue. which So now we've acknowledged that there's an electrical issue. There's high oil temperature in our generators. I've left that on there as, you know, a reminder to make us a little bit more panicky. Right, yeah. Yeah. We're fine. Remember that roller coaster you built? Fine. <laughs> 737 is which we were a jet fighter. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, the, yeah, there's no way we're descending enough. Now, I'm going to cheat again and look at this map. I shouldn't have this information. This is like GPS, right? Oh, okay. I shouldn't actually know what this is. Right. Um, although, I suppose what I could do is I could tune to NV, find out what radial I'm on. That's what I'm going to tell me. There's no way we're dropping enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit some, some speed break here. Is there an everything is fine light? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they yeah. all mean now. Yeah. <laughs> look. When they're all lit up, it means everything is fine. <laughs> These are my speed breaks. How cool is that? Like. Wait, you mean... The the wings? No, no, these little, oh, these little yes, bits that okay. come out. It's like, oh, great! I love it! I squee over baby elephants and hippos, and he's like, oh my god, look at the cute little brakes! <laughs> Wait until I extend my flaps! Oh, it's gonna be so ex Oh my god, the money raises up to 6300 What is going on? I don't know. Everyone wants to get in their donations before we all die. That's what's happening. Maybe that's what's happening, yeah. yeah. All right, we're we're passing through soon eighteen thousand. We'll reset our altimeter at that point. Don't become one with the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's called litho breaking. It's a it's a technique I learned from Kerbal Space Program. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah yeah yeah. Anything you learn from KSP is great. <laughs> Use in all areas of life. No wingless oh. efficiency. This is a plane from nineteen sixty eight. We hadn't invented winglets yet. I just stopped crying again. Damn it. What? Mm. Happy birthday, amazing woman. You show the world what it means to be truly selfless. Aww, the abridged. The abridged cuts. Aw, that's nice. You guys. <laughs> the intersection of things essential finds cute and things cool finds cute. Dumbo. Yeah, it's okay. true. Something that flies. <laughs> that's kind of amazing, Ro. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love that you managed to put those together. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that since I was, like, very, very little, and all I remember is that it made me cry, so I wouldn't have thought of that. So we're descending 2,000 feet per minute, which is faster than normally you would like to descend. I'm sure a lot of passengers' ears are popping pretty aggressively here. Um, that sounds unfun. Yeah, but even then, I'm not sure that we're going to hit what we want. Oh, we can actually detect the glide scope now, which is interesting. <laughs> he says all this stuff like it's like English or something. I think what we'll have to do... We'll have to plan a reciprocal course away or something like that, and then come back around. I think that's reasonable. I'm going to go into uh, heading select mode here, temporarily. So we're going to be keeping a heading of 115 on the compass, effectively, and ignoring the uh, radio tower, because at some point soon we're going to pass over it, and this thing will go cray-cray. <laughs> There's an area called the zone of confusion. When you're oh, directly good. above a radio <laughs> tower, your radio antenna goes bonkers and doesn't understand what to do with it. <laughs> Although, that, it'll be interesting. That seems less than useful. Because <laughs> it should be happening literally any second. Look at my planning. Any second now. Oh, there it is. You see it's drifting off to the side? Boom. So this is supposed to say 10,000 so now. So... <laughs> We're doomed. It's not ideal. Well, Drain wants to know how many baby elephants you're going to kill when you crash the snake. <laughs> no, no, we left the elephants at home because we realized this would be a terrible idea. Yeah, and we're landing in, in basically in Nairobi, not, not in the park, so... We'll just kill a bunch of humans, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, no one, ca no one cares about humans, so it's totally okay. Right, because we didn't raise $7,000 last year to help refugees and people in emergency situations around the world. We don't care about humans at all. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, those humans, just not the ones in the plane. No. So what we're going to do here <laughs> is we're going to fly due south for a bit, and then sort of sprint around. Because our the runway, this line now, the, where the glide scope is lining up, this is the line we want to be on to land. Although okay. we want to be going that way. Are we not? No, we're going. We're going this way. Oh, now I see the. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm intentionally overshooting it so we can sort of loop around. around and yeah. come back okay. and finish this, which is going to be okay. All right. At this point, I can go ahead and throw the speed brakes back in. Although we'll make sure that they're ready to go. Auto brakes oh. are there. That's going to be fine. What a joke. That's awful. Killing more humans would make the elephants safer, theoretically, or statistically. <laughs> That's true. The best thing you could do as an environmentalist is, like, go out into the night and no, kill a few... No, <laughs> Oh, all right. What he said is, no! <laughs> so, oh my God. we're just going to do this, and then we're just going to circle around here. And then, this is the line. Eventually, we're going to be lined up here. To land. Okay. 
I have faith in you. Really? Mostly because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> so, you know, we're fine. Yeah. Everything <laughs> Ignorance is, fine. is bliss, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I actually can just be tuned to the ILS station, so that's going to be good. So we'll just do that. We still got this, which is going to be okay. All right. Mm. Everything's okay. Time for a barrel, Captain? Question mark? Good. <laughs> Don't die. We need you. <coughs> Guys, we're already losing one of our passengers. This is not going to be appropriate. <coughs> okay, have we gone far south enough <coughs> for me to complete this? Apparently Hopefully. I'm not awake enough to know how to drink water. It's just too complicated for me today. Are you saying you have a drinking problem? Evidently. <laughs> Alright, we're still descending, but now at a thousand feet per second, which is where I'm looking for. The speed is good. That's excellent. So I am probably can start to turn around at this point and be happy. Probably. Yes. Yeah. So now what I'll do is I'll, I'll fly the reciprocal. So 60 plus 240. Wait, I meant to say 60 plus 180 is 240, right? Sure. It's probably true. Math is hard. Sounds close to right. So I'm just flying 180 degrees away from the direction. So I'm literally flying backwards now. But that's okay. That's what I want to be doing. We're flying backwards. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens all the time. No, I haven't gotten a switch yet. It would be nice. They're they're all sold out, and I didn't make it a priority. And I I'm I, I'm too busy. I got to do some work. But <laughs> I am gonna go out on a flight. Hopefully, a flight that's you know not piloted by myself. Um, at the end of the month, and maybe maybe I can consider looking to that. Cause yeah, I'm it, sure it's on his wish list. <laughs> it super is. I mean, you have a birthday coming up, too. That's true. I could put it on my birthday list. That is true. April See? 30th, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, Essentia saves the world. I ask for video games. <laughs> this is the difference between us. A thousand feet per... No, did I say a thousand feet per second? I meant a thousand per minute. A thousand feet per second would be a little bit rapid. Uh, right. A little bit rapid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit rapid. So, <laughs> we're going to make a right turn, and now we're going to be going at 15, because that's 45 degrees off of our intended course. What was that? Uh, altitude alert. That's letting us know we're within a thousand feet of my uh, the altitude I have dialed in for our target. And that's okay. That is okay. Okay. It's just gonna, the autopilot will then try to level us off at that point. We'll have to give the uh, we'll have to give the engines a little bit more juice to hold that, but that's going to be okay. And then we'll go hunting for a glide scope. Glide scope is currently above. Yeah, we do have this. So that's good. We're flying below the glide scope. Everything is fine. Everything anything. is awesome. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll hang on. <laughs> uh, if this keeps doing this, we can... Okay, well, we don't have the line. We're actually too far away to spot this now. That's probably okay. One, one second. MJ says I'm so good at saving the world, though. Aww. I, no. FYI, the world's a complete disaster. Just so, you know, in case you didn't realize. <laughs> but we're doing all we can. <laughs> uh. Uh, if I bring up this... And then I bring up that so we can see it. Okay, so what we're doing, so there, the airport over here in Nairobi is like lined up like here-ish or something like that. Like that's our runway. It's lining up kind of like this. Okay. Actually, maybe this view does suck. Never mind. <laughs> Let's use this one. Look, look at this beautiful path that we've made. We're drawing designs in the air. Yeah. All right, so we can see, um, so our runway is lined up with this thing. This thing here is basically the line that points to our runway. Okay. Okay? So what we're doing is we're lining ourselves up with that line right now. But also, this runway has a special radio system that not only tells you if you're lined up with it, it also has sort of another line in the sky that goes, like, vertically. And your radio can tell if you're above or below that line. Okay. And that line is called the glide scope. It's this is what your plane wants to follow to go directly to the runway. If we follow this line in the sky, both left and right and up and down, mm -hmm. if we're on that line, mm -hmm. it will <clears throat> crash us directly into the runway. Except, crash you know, hopefully we'll go slow enough and remember to put our wheels down so we won't crash. So not crash us. Yeah. Okay. Land! That's the word I'm That's looking for. That's the word. Sorry, yeah, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't do that one very much, so I forget. I, I've already overshot my... <laughs> we're doomed. I've already overshot my line, so that's good. <laughs> Did we said something about remember the pandas, John Lambert? Well, we don't talk about the pandas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're over seven thousand! Everyone remembers that wrong. The pandas were fine. It was all the other species we killed. <laughs> that's true. Oh, you know what? 
we are losing speed to try to maintain this, so let's give ourselves a little bit more process the juice here. Right now. <laughs> and actually, we're going slow enough we can kick out some flaps, so we should do a little bit of that. Takeoffs are optional, landings are mandatory, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can put this in auto approach mode now. Hey, we have a rhino. Really? The, I thought we killed all the rhinos. The, the chat kind. Oh, that not, kind. No, not all <laughs> of them, just <laughs> most of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Almost all of them. There we go. We finally have intersected our line. The uh, glide scope is, a, is, is, we've got it registered, but it's above us, which is excellent. So at some point, so there's a, a line like this in the sky, and we're flying this way, and at some point we will hit that, and then our autopilot will start following that down. Now, good time to look at our landing speeds here. We're going to be landing at the 30 flaps. Our VREF is 131. So ideally, we'd be hitting a speed of 131 just as we touch down. Here at Aeroquil, we have a 100% flight rate. For every plane that goes up, one plane comes down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's terrifying. That's really good. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going too fast. Hey, Delirium, thank you. What I could do here... Well, this is actually, I don't need this. I don't need the speed buck anymore. But we are going too fast, because I'm going to want to deploy more flaps. So I can deploy flaps 5 at, oh, 225, which we're there. So what the hell, let's do that now. Excellent. So to go to 30, eventually that'll be when we're below 185. We can go to full flaps 30. Okay. Oh, I don't want to know if we're slowly floating into death. <laughs> No, <laughs> no death. Everything is fine. Captain Munson, more quickly floating to death. <laughs> <laughs> See, our glide scope here is almost at our horizontal position. We're almost at exactly the right height. We're catching to the glide scope. We're going to start descending to follow it, which is good. We're exactly zero altitude now, so that's wonderful. Uh, we're at ten thousand feet. Ten thousand feet means we've got to turn lights on. So our logo light, which is the most important uh, light we've got, is it? Yeah, it's the one that illuminates the picture of me on our tail fin. Of course, that would be the yeah. more, most important one, yeah, yes. Yeah. There's, there's a light that actually shines to illuminate this so that people can see me at night. Wow. The most important light on our plane. I mean, anything that increases visibility is good, so I guess yes. there's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can go to flap 10. That's going to be fine here. So we're 13 nautical miles out from the airport, which is out here somewhere. <laughs> oh, we can see the runway! We can, we can see the runway! It's amazing! He's so excited. <laughs> oh! All right, what's my it's N1? funny, as you're saying that, chat, which is a little bit behind where we are, is saying, can we see the runway yet? <laughs> it was like perfect timing. So with that, how, do you think we should put landing gears? I mean, probably before we land, yeah. That's a good call. We are gaining <laughs> speed right now. I gotta kill that off. I don't know a lot about flying, but I'm pretty sure that that one's, that one's a good one. I can extend them <laughs> as long as we're not above 270 knots. That's crazy. Well, let's do that. It'll help us burn out some speed. So we, we have an do. Eva. Do that. I love how these wheels come out, by the way. Like sideways like that. That's gorgeous. As opposed to tucking into the wings. I just love that. He's very excited by oh. the plane. And you can see, like, <laughs> our, our flaps are deploying. See this bit? It's like this gap in the wing and everything like that. Oh, yeah, okay. That's yeah, our flaps. Yeah. We, could, we could extend the next level as well. Look at them, they go. Look at them go. Probably Wait, going too are fast. Are they right. tilting? Or just yeah, they sort of t they extend and tilt okay. down. It's okay. a combination of things. So what are we at right now? We are at flaps uh, 15... We are, can go to the next one, that's going to be fine. All right, we're burning off speed. We've got the glide scope. Our speed is dropping, but in a relatively happy way. I will need to put a little bit more throttle in. Because with all the flaps and with the landing gear out, you do burn off speed, like, shockingly quickly coming in at the end here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are actually slightly above the glide scope, but that's okay. Autopilot is still locked in for all those, right? Altitude, approach, yes. Everything is fine. Welcome to Kerbal Airways. We think you will land. <laughs> <laughs> You'll land. It's just a question How? of where and at what velocity yeah. and orientation. Yeah. Yeah. And alive or dead. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we make we make no There's no lots guarantees. Of variables. You will land. Okay, I'm going slow enough. I can go all the way. So that's for 30 flaps. So now, uh, look at the plane. Look at these wings. They're all like sticking out all Not over the place. Very fancy. <laughs> it's like wow. Look at the blinking light. That's one of the lights we turned on. Oh, yep, yep. The blinking light. The blinking lights. There's the airport. So, in theory, Nairobi is, like, all over here. And we do see some buildings over there. Now, it's not as big in here as it is in real life. Nairobi is, like, 
quite a bit larger with a crap ton of buildings, including skyscrapers. Um, and so it's not super well modeled here in terms of detail, but it is there. All right, we are right on the ball. That's good. Speed is dropping, but we're okay. We see two white lights and two red lights. There are four lights <laughs> out there. I don't know what just happened, but sure. Uh, I went full Picard. Um, that, that's, that's good. What that was? Yeah. So two white lights, two red lights means we're right at the correct angle, which is good. So we're coming at the right angle. Our speed is uh, still above our landing. It's, it's dripping down slowly, but not too badly. I could take over at this point, but I don't trust myself that much more than the glide scope. I never set a minimum, which I should have. Um, the airport's at, what, 5,300? So our ground, yeah, we're 1,000 foot above the ground. So about, uh, where's the, is this the minimums knob? So let's say 200 feet above the ground. Maybe I'll take over. Maybe sooner than that. Could be. We're now at 145. I think we're going to just give ourselves a scooch more thrust here, because I suspect we might not have quite enough speed to keep this stable. It's pretty good right now, though. So we're coming at 500 above the ground. There should actually be a call-out for it shortly. There you go. Speed is now stable. Uh, 500. Okay. Gears are down and locked. Flaps are fully extended. Uh, probably we're not dying. There's probably a light I'm supposed to turn on. Or a button we're supposed to hit. We got the auto brakes on. <laughs> we got the speed brakes in position. Probably. That's good. Let's go ahead and... Whoa, turn off the autopilot. And there's a key for it, but I don't know what it is. Let's turn that off. Face forward again. My plane! We've almost totally got this without dying, guys. Almost. We'll be okay. Quill is an epic pilot. Okay, we're a little high, but that's okay. Throttling down. So we're at 140. 100 feet above. I feel like there should be a drum roll, but I don't want to distract you. <laughs> 135? It's so nerve-wracking. 130. <laughs> A little slow. We're gonna stall and just drop the last few feet, and it's gonna be a hard landing. Oh my god! It's okay. So yeah, it's totally okay. At about 30, uh, 30 feet above the runway, I went a little too slow. We stalled and basically suddenly dropped out of the sky. The landing uh, G's. We hit 3.6 G's on landing. Basically, Ooh. everyone's basically shrunk about six inches as their spine spine compresses. That sounds bad. Well, it's not good. So we're hoping that <laughs> the Joma Kenyatta Airport has like an on-site chiropractor waiting to fix everybody once we're done. Yeah, they're also going to need to get the uh, the runway maintenance crew out there to replace yeah. the divots that we just put in the uh, the asphalt. But you know, see, it didn't look like that bad. I feel like I should have done spaceship acting when we landed, but it didn't look like it was that bad. I know. It, like <laughs> if I didn't have this little like meter to tell me that we landed with such hard G's, I'd be like, no, it's a great landing, successfully <laughs> executed. Um, yeah. I wonder if I can just hit that to disengage the autopilot. Anywho. Kristen Davis liked a tweet that I sent her last night about the charity fundraiser. Oh, cool! Kristen Davis is an actress, and she's, like, sort of the official patron of the Wildlife Trust. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it is. <clears throat> also, she, yeah, she was in Sex and the City, and you know, yes. I'm a fan, so. <laughs> Executed is the right word for it. We're totally okay. Everyone is shrunk and compressed and messed up, but, you know, live. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, we're going to pass out the customs and immigration forms as, as well as the insurance claim forms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, hey, we're here. 